Hello, my name is Paul from ClickAlgo and today's video is going to show people that have um, purchased or they're using the Neptune, Neptune trading robots. We're going to show you how to actually optimize the parameters. Um, this is for version 2.2. 2.1 previously um, you could only optimize something like five or seven parameters. We've now added over 50 so most of the robots, all of pretty much all of the nine robots actually, have over 60 optimized parameters and I'll show you them now. So this is the Neptune uh, Euro dollar um, 2. version 2.2, .2. what I'll do is just open up the parameters. You can see we've got the standard settings at the top here for stop loss, buy and sell, but the actual ones that we're going to be looking at today are the optimizers. So it goes between one and 60. Previously, it was only like four or five. Um, what this gives you, this gives you much finer control. It means now you can run optimization for a whole year or for the whole um, time frame for that symbol and get very good back test results which give you a high probability of getting forward test a better forward test results. So the back test results, um, if you get good fitted parameters, you've got a higher probability that um, the new data coming in will follow that same pattern and you'll also get some good results. OK, so what we're going to do, uh, most of these robots are delivered um, with default parameters. Now, default parameters, I'll show you on this if I just back test it. OK, I'm going to choose the starting capital is 1000 because we always do around 1000. Uh, live spread is 0.4 and what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a back test for the whole lot. And while that's running, I'll have a quick chat about the parameters still. Oh, it's going to do it straight away. So while this is running, what I'm going to say is about the parameters. Now, um, there's, like I said, there's 60 parameters you can optimize and all you've got to do is run the optimization module, which is the next one here. And I'll, I'll go, I'm, going to, I'm going to go through that with you in a minute and show you how to do that. Um, you don't need to do it for the full date range because it's already got kind of optimized parameters for the whole date range anyway. What I would do is I would optimize for the previous year and then I would run your robot. So do it so that you can get um, a reasonable return. Most of these robots were already optimized with one year back test um, and we, we will update them. But if you want better results, I would optimize them for going back one year and then I would run that forward test on fresh data. If you start seeing poor performance or if you run a back test for the previous year and you start seeing some losing trades, optimize again for the previous year. You can even optimize for one month. It's totally up to you. Um, so what that does, that will make sure that your parameters are always fitting the current market cycle, because um, I do believe the markets change. Obviously, you get long bearish trains. Uh, trends and long bullish trends. So um, these data, this data is fitted for those trends. And as the trends change, um, you want to go fit your data for that as well. OK, so this is just coming to an end now. I just wait for that to finish and I'll quickly go through the optimization. OK, so you'll get these parameters. This is just the default parameters when you um, open up a first instance. Now you'll see for this one, the last so many trades that weren't fantastic. It wasn't going on an exponential growth. Um, so you want to optimize that last year. It's done a, it's done a 99% um, uh, net profit there with a, with a drawdown of 1.15 and a max, max equity drawdown of 1.37. So very low drawdown. Um, obviously, you know, this, this robot costs 20 pounds. So it's not like you're going to make thousands out of it. Even if you get a return of investment of 10 times that, that's really good. Even one, you know, even if you double your money, that's very good. So this robot has the potential to actually allow you to do low risk trading, get very little return out of it, but get a very good return of profit, or you can get a lot of return of profit with a little bit higher risk by adding, um, increasing your um, buy, buy volume and sell volume. So you can increase your buy volume and sell volume. And if you did that and did this back test, you'd get a little bit more, you get a lot more return. So I'm kind of babbling on too much because this was just supposed to be for optimization. And I've gone into too much detail about back testing. OK, but if you wanted to get a higher return, I would just put that as 10. I'll just quickly show you if you put that as 10,000, the return on this would be so much higher. I'm just going to quickly show you while I'm on the while I'm chatting anyway. I can actually quickly show you how it does that. I don't think I showed it in the previous videos. So you can see straight away it's um, the profits much, much higher. But obviously the risk will be higher as well. But if you don't mind um, risking some, you know, a certain amount of your equity or your, your capital, then this is perfect for you. OK, so when this is finished, I will go now and show you optimization, how to optimize parameters for this and how you should do it. So the whole idea around it is um, what I would personally do is I would optimize for the previous year. And I would get very good fitted parameters for that previous year. And I would probably do that monthly. And every month I would run another back to uh, run, run another optimization. 
and try and get um, as the best results you can. And if they're better than your current ones, just replace those settings and run your robot again on new, on new settings. Um, also, you might want to start off and say something like, you know, you don't want to risk more than, um, I don't know, 5% of your equity or 2%. I would do as a rule of thumb, whatever you feel you don't want to risk, I would halve it. So if you say I only want to risk 5% of my uh, equity, put your your drawdown when you do a back test make sure your drawdown is like two two percent because there's always going to things going to happen that's going to make it a lot higher okay so this back set is finished running and it's got a, a nine or ten percent drawdown which is okay it's not terrible but it's turned uh, one thousand into ten thousand so that's a massive return of investment for a drawdown of 10%. That's very, very good, okay? So that just gives you some idea of the power of this robot. You can use it for low low risk trading, um, you know, depending on your know, trading style, or if you're a little bit, I mean, 10% is not a lot, really. If you talk to other people about a drawdown of 10%, or this is not even 10%, it's less. It's pretty good, actually. So what I'm gonna do now is show you the optimization uh, module of C Trader. So we're not gonna do the full year. I'm just gonna do like, just as an example, I'm just going to do a short um, time frame, say a couple of months from 10th to the 10th, the 20th, the 11th. Okay. So what I'm going to do is you click on the gear here and you choose your, I'm going to choose 1000. Again, I always go to 1000 because most people have probably a lot less than 1000 as starting capital. Choose your live spread. That's important. Just leave it on one minute bars uh, from the server. And then on this button here, this is where you uh, adjust your parameters. So untick. Um, Turbo Boost Show Copyright, and take all of these, the News Manager, and you just want your Take Profit and your Optimizers. Now I'm going to show you another little trick later, because what I would do also, if you've got time and you've got a powerful machine, I would reduce these default values, because at the moment the default values are saying 45 to 55, I would change that from something like 30 to 100. And if you want it to run faster, you can always do it as step two. So that will go 30, 32, 34, 36. OK, if you do step one, it will do 30, 31, 32, 33. So I would adjust these parameters a lot less. Uh, sorry, a wider range. So you've got a much wider range for your stop loss and take profit. And you can even do it for the others. But if you just want to do a quick optimization, leave the default settings that are there. Make sure they're all set. Now, what's that's going to do when I run an optimization? That's going to try and find the best settings in that range that we've got there and because they were fitted already previously um, you might need to just tweak it with this now again we've got some traders got some very powerful machines so if you do have a powerful server i would run this um, on a much wider range okay and i would also have a look at running it if you can under uh, grid exhaustive uh, exhaustive can't even say it the brute force method okay so it's a brute force method of going through every different variations and combinations to get it. So experiment with different optimization methods. Um, if you're using the PC, your PC for other stuff, I would um, reduce your resources, just bring it down to 50%. Um, if you're not using your PC at all and it's a server and it's only designed for um, optimization, I'd give it 100%. Um, the only thing I wanna say is never optimize or backtest on your VPS, because your VPS has very low resources. It's got a very um, slow P CPU and not a lot of RAM or memory. So whatever you whatever you do, do not backtest or optimize on your VPS, so you'll see your resources going really high, and then you'll say, oh, I need to um, increase my package and pay more money. You don't. You need a basic VPS package. You just do the optimization and uh, backtesting on a powerful server if you've got one, or your desktop. And then if you're using a VPS, all you use it for is just running the robot. You can load the parameters in and run the robot. So this is running now. Um, as you can see, it's trying to find the best parameters going back just the last two weeks. And if I go to trade statistics, again, it's got a um, max equity drawdown as 0.19%, which is crazy, with no risk on your capital. Um, and over the last two weeks, it's got a £10 profit so far. So what this is going to do, this is going to go through the different variations of the parameters and find the best one for you. Um, I'm not going to do the complete search. I'm just going to stop it. So what would happen is it would highlight the one that it's chosen because you've got auto select the best pass. So it would highlight your best pass. If you want to apply the parameters, all you've got to do is click apply. Now that would apply the parameters to here. So all your parameters are be down here, the new parameters. You just click apply. If for any reason you click on the screen and you lose the best pass, so I'm clicking on the screen there at different uh, values, just click again on this checkbox. Oh, it's 
it's actually remembered it previously. Right, I'll start again. I'm going to highlight the top one this time because it actually I clicked on the one that was actually going to choose. So if I click on it again, you can see it's moved down to this box there. This is the um, the best parameter pass that you've got. OK, so if you ever lose it, just click on that. So again, the whole idea is you just click apply, it applies the parameters. Now what you want to do so you don't lose it is save those parameters. You just right click, save parameters. When you click save parameters, it will save a file, CBOT set, onto your um, hard drive somewhere. So store it somewhere safe or rename it something uh, that you need. Now that's your optimized parameters that you're going to use for this robot, say for whatever period of time you want to do in the past. OK, my, I might have gone on too much. I hope it wasn't um, too much baffling for you. But um, this video should help you now with optimizing version 2.2 of the Neptune trading robots. And if you're not familiar with these robots, you can find them on our website at clickalgo.com. Um, you can find them under trading software, um, hybrid automated trading, um, or you can just type up, type in up here, um, Euro USD Forex, and it will come up. So this is the robot here. You can download a trial version by clicking on there. You can add it to cart, check out and buy it. Uh, we will re we will be running optimization every three months, um, but we give you all the information here to run the optimization optimization yourself. And if you scroll down, it's got lots of information about. Um, or back test results, user, the, the uh, settings are explained. You <laughs> can't even talk. The adjustable settings explained here, how to install the um, CBOT on your platform. And we've got a product um, knowledge base. And the last thing we've got is a help desk support system. So if you've got any problems with the um, product, you can just click on there and send us a help desk support ticket. So there are nine of these Neptune trading robots. You can just click on any one of these and you can download a trial version and give it a bash. OK, thank you very much. Oh, before I do go, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.